Hello friends. Welcome back to this channel. In this tutorial video we are going to see using Terraform how to access S3 bucket from EC2 instance using I am role. So without any further ado, let's get start the session. So first let's see what are these three things. Let's start with EC2. So Amazon Elastic Compute Cloud is known as Amazon EC2 provide scalable computing capacity in the Amazon Web Services or AWS cloud. Using Amazon EC2, eliminates our need to invest in hardware up front, so we can develop and deploy applications faster. We can use Amazon EC2, to launch as many, or as few virtual servers as we need, configure security and networking, and manage storage. And it also enables you to scale up or down to handle changes in requirements or spikes in popularity, reducing your need to forecast traffic. Now let's talk about Amazon S3. So Amazon Simple Storage Service is known as Amazon S3, is an object storage service that offers industry-leading scalability, data availability, security, and performance. Customers of all sizes and industries can use Amazon S3 to store and protect any amount of data for a range of use cases, such as data like websites, mobile applications, backup and restore, archive, enterprise applications, IoT devices, and big data analytics. It also provides management features, so that you can optimize, organize, and configure access to your data to meet your specific business, organizational, and compliance requirements. Now let's talk about Terraform, because in this session we are going to take the help of Terraform to perform our task. So Terraform is an open-source IAAC infrastructure as a code software tool where you define and create resources using providers in the declarative configuration language example JSON. With Terraform, you can package and reuse the code in form of modules. It supports a number of cloud infrastructure providers such as AWS, Azure, GCP, IBM Cloud, OCI, etc. It has four major commands. Terraform init, Terraform plan, Terraform apply, and Terraform destroy. So guys for this demo, our system must have Terraform and Terraform CLI installed and set up. I have already set up my Terraform CLI in my system. So if you don't know how to install and set up Terraform in your system, don't worry I had already created a video on that topic, the link is in the description. So here I am going to use files from my demo1 directory. Now first let's see our variable.tf file, which is important for our AWS resources. So here as you can see, I have declared four variables access key, secret key, region, and bucket name. Here region have one default value US East 1. Now here as you can see, I have created one more folder called HTML. And in this folder I have created a HTML file. As you can see, in this file it will give us text hello word, okay? Now here in the IAM.tf file. I have created an IAM role named as SSM role for EC2. Here I have mentioned its version and in the statement, effect is going to allow, and service is going to be EC2. Then I have created IAM instance profile named as SSM role for EC2. Then here I have created policy statement for IAM instance, which is to set SSM managed instance core and S3 read only access. Now in the security group.tf file, I have created a security group name as WebSG. It has two ingress rule. One has port 80 to port 80, and the second one has port 443 to 443. It has egress rule with port 0 to 0 and protocol will be minus 1. Then I have created instance.tf file. Where I have created instance named as web. The AMI is going to be this. Instance type is T2 micro. Here I have mentioned security group, IAM instance profile. And the user data is going to be this. Here we are going to install httpd and then we are going to copy index.html file from our S3 bucket. In main.tf file, I have created first oz resource. Then I have created S3 bucket and the S3 bucket object. In the bucket object file is set to all the content of our HTML folder. And the content type is going to be text or HTML write. 
Here I have created one more file called output.tf. So after execution, it will give us as3 bucket id. So now let's apply this code. Now first, you have to initialize this using terraform init. But as I have already done with it, now I am going to run terraform plan. As you can see, it will be going to add 8 resources. So now let's do terraform apply. Yes as you can see, we have successfully added 8 resources. Let's copy this bucket ID. And paste it on our browser. Hello world. Now it means we have successfully accessed our S3 bucket from EC2 instance using IAM role. So guys, that's it for this video, I hope you liked it. I will see you in the next lecture. If you have any question or any doubt, feel free to ask in the comment section below, I will answer you as soon as I can. Thank you for watching. Bye and have a nice day.